Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Alexander Volkanovsky and Yair Rodriguez. Well, he's the owner of the consensus best knockout of 2018 against Chan Sung Jung. That came with one second to go in the fifth and final round. Yaya Rodriguez back on the proving ground. Yaya Rodriguez is a guy that since winning the Ultimate Fighter Latin America has earned five, five performance of the night bonuses in seven fights. Every time that he fights, it's very exciting. He's very skilled. He can do it all. He went out to Chicago after the show lived with Izzy Martinez, learned wrestling, learned to speak English, just developed an overall game of mixed martial arts to put himself in a position where he could one day fight for a UFC championship. And it's fortunate that he was able to work out his differences with the UFC, because one thing I will say without a doubt, he deserves to be in the biggest show in the sport, and Yair Rodriguez very much a factor here in this featherweight division. the tape for this heavyweight fight. Volkanovski is four years the elder. Rodriguez is five inches taller. The reach is identical. Once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah! El Patera Rodriguez! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 25 wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Bononovsky! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter, and I think I just heard Daniel say, I wish I was a little bit taller. Landed 
a good uppercut there. Back to the feet. Oh, he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always... Oh! Good shot lands. Oh, went for the spinning kick there. Telegraphed it a little bit. No good. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Volkanovs. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh! Unable to land with that punch. Look, oh! Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Rodriguez gets hit with a kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kick for what got the belt from Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down. Get oh, him. Oh, oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Final second to round one. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight. So a strong five minutes down. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed that knee perfect. Got the knee to the target and really did hurt his opponent. All right, here we go. Round two. It is Alexander Volkanovsky versus Yair Rodriguez. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big punch lands through the middle. Volkanovski has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record. Oh. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Rodriguez gets touched by that kick to the body. Big power punch land. Now he gets back in range. Got the shots pretty well here. Oh. Strong hook lands. Oh. 35 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And if you care at home, the accuracy right now, 53% against Yair Rodriguez. You don't really stand after you take a hit like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Back to the feet. Such a fast leg kick. 
massive head kick. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Well, he's the tallest guy in the middle and a knee to the body with relative ease there. 15 seconds remain in the round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, take a seat, buddy. You okay? Get some water. Not a big deal. We've been knocked down. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Clipped him with the right hand there. Nice kick. 51 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Landing at a 52% clip tonight against Yair Rodriguez. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, oh what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to be champion. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Beautiful kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent has hit. He's trying to keep a good poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, jeez Louise. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah! El Pantera Rodriguez! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's fights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.